Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, some people question the contract that Terry Rozier got from the Hornets in 2019, but three years later, he earned an even bigger deal. He says, I work my tail off because that's all I know. The money will be there. I'm more excited that I can just show my talent every night, what I'm about, and who Terry Rozier really is. Kevin, back to you. Love the motor. D.A., thanks. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Rainman is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Hornets, the guard pair, Ball and Rozier. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. And it's Plumley in at the center position. No question that both these squads have a bright future, Brent. Their lineups are brimming with talented young players. So good, so young, and still hungry. But the best thing about it, Kevin, is that they're continuing to improve. And so they're making all the right steps in the right direction. Now, here is Robinson. The tray. The shot misses. to Rozier. Plumley sets the pick for Rozier. And the shot goes down. And this team relies on Rozier's decision making and, and using the pick there to create a shot for himself. Now here's Randall. Back to Brunson. Offensive rebound. Five on the clock. Has to bear it. Tries again. And Rogier pulls it down. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Pass to Plumley. He dishes it to ball. Back to Plumley. From past the arc. Robinson pulls it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Olsen goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the lid's off. Uh, they're one for four to begin this one, but that shot might just get them going. And there's the pass to Hayward. Plumley with a screen on Barrett. Can't hit that one. The Knicks go the other way with it. Last time they met in New York. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. And out of bounds as the next game possession. Runs in the pass to Randall. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Pass to Rozier. Shot clock at six. Ball finds Rozier. Offensive rebound, Plumley, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Uh, clearly a mistake by the defender. Plumley's a big guy that you have to wrap up, but if you don't, you can get in once. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw, no good. Well, there's one thing that's become clear about this Hornets team. They've become one of the best passing teams in the league. Well, those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. It's good. And he's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jump. 
and Charlotte's passing has improved a lot in the last few seasons. Greg, even more. Yeah, their assist numbers have been terrific, and they keep their turnovers to a minimum. That's a trend you want to see continue. Here's Ball, following the score by New York. On the wing, Rogier. Down low, here's Washington. The Knicks pull it in. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, and that one, their rebounding was the difference. Big disparity between the two teams. Yeah, I'm not sure if their last game was a basketball game or a wrestling match, the way they went about it. Just so physical and dominated them. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And, guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Plumber. And Oubre subbed in for Rogier. Oubre. And here's Washington outside. Charlotte again missing. New York leading by five. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. One. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's foul number two for him. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. And the Hornets making a change here. McDaniels checked in, and a switcher also for New York. Derek Rose is checked in for Rainbow. Now here's Hayward. 11 points for him in that last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. He's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. And it really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. Here's Brunson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Barrett for three. No good on that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Dennis Smith, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. Then for the Knicks, Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Julius Randle. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Oubre. 17 points for him last game against Brooklyn. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. Now Fournier after Kelly Oubre missed from long range. Hartenstein passes to Rhodes. Plays it up off the glass. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Hornets trail by four. Smith the pass to Richards. Kicks it to ball. He lobs up the alley -oop pass and finished off by McDaniel. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. And after winning the 2021 Rookie of the Year, LaMelo Ball was even better with sophomore campaign. He, he continues to grow his game. And for LaMelo Ball's second year, Greg, where did you see him improve the most? I think taking on more of a scoring load, Ball's points per game were significantly up. But LaMelo also improved his three-point and free throw shooting numbers. So rounding out that offensive game will be important. 2022 was a big season for Obi Toppin in his young career. Well, we saw him continue to improve as a player, but the big moment obviously was that dunk contest when after being a runner-up the year before, he finally got to claim that trophy. Oubre Jr., difficult play there, but finds a way to get to the free throw line. During his childhood, Hurricane Katrina forced Kelly Oubre Jr.'s family out, and they had to move. 
And the Oubre family moving from New Orleans to Houston. Kelly saying he still thinks about the day his family left NOLA. Feels lucky they found a new home. And Toppin throws it down. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. Hornets trail by four. Ball feeling it out a bit to the inside. There's McDaniels. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. McDaniels got six points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Outside Rose. And rejection by McDaniels. Here's Richards. And there's a nice one-handed slam. That's an easy shot provided by Dennis Smith Jr. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the first. Rose against Smith, and it's Rose penetrating. Here's Toppin. Two points. That one goes. Toppin's got his second basket. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. And a quick look now at the best free throw shooting team. The next fourth. You know, it's really a team-wide talent. You want to foul to stop layups, but against them, you're not saving much. They'll make you pay time and again. One twenty-four left in the first quarter. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Now here's Fournier. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Rose. Lays it up and banks it in. Now it's a four-point Knicks lead. And how about the airtime improvisation from Derrick Rose? Able to hang and finish with a defender looming. Richards passes the ball. Rebound by Rose. New York's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Looks up a three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Smith outside. Ball, the pass to Richards. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Toppin. <laughs> a big man with a big finish. And Rose, wide open. He shoots. That doesn't go either for Rose. From deep three-point range, at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Knicks out front, up by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. quarter and looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far what do you guys think hey why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim yeah that worked wonders for them in the quarter we'll see what kind of adjustments get made the big man on the floor it's Washington and Plumlee Dennis Smith is out there with Rozier and it's McDaniels at the small forward so that's the lineup for Charlotte Washington passes to Plumlee just five on the clock Charlotte moving the ball around. And it's Rozier missing. The Knicks with the lead. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball. And I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. And the Hornets with possession here. The Knicks making the shot. Smith kicks to Rozier. Ball's not loose. Brunson against Smith. 
Runs in the pass to Robinson. And to left side. Outside Fournier. And that one hits back iron. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. From downtown. And it's Rozier missing. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's Randall, and he drops it in from the low post. Randall's got the lead up to eight now for the Knicks. Yeah, Randall's not passing that one up. Fantastic job at converting when he's got the kind of position like that. Smith kicks to McDaniel. Back to Smith. Just four to shoot. And again, the Hornets missing. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Brunson. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. And it's Rain Man missing. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Rogier. The end the drought. That one doesn't drop. Now the Knicks take it the other way. They host the Kings after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Handle a screen on Washington. Let's it go from 11 and too long on the shot. Charlotte has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. And here is Rozier. His last outing, 16 points for him. Washington passes to Plumlee. Now here's McDaniel. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Charlotte calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Can't just stop when there's a big setup. Gotta fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Brunson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. A rebound by Washington. Now Smith. Passes it to Washington. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his third assist on the night. Now the pass to Olsen. Pope loose. It's stolen by Smith. And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. Fournier was really quick hands there. Rozier looking around. Washington sets the pick for Rozier. Three-pointer, Hayward. It's rebounded by Brunson. Brunson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Randall. Outside Robinson. Here's Rain Man. 17-foot shot on the way. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Smith kicks to Hayward. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Brunson against Smith. Plumley with a screen on Brunson. Five to shoot. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And the Hornets miss again. The Knicks leading by seven. Randall outside. Pass to Robinson. Randall with a screen for Fournier. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass. 
Smith up top. Runs in covering. Passes to Rozier. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Mitchell Robinson. The Knicks have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Some changes for Charlotte. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Plumlee. Kelly Oubre comes in for Ogier. And Ball subbed in for Dennis Smith. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. It's checked in for Evan Fournier. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Rose, no good. Hornets trail by seven. Here's Ball. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Oh, nimble inside play there from Ball. Finding ways to work around the defense and score. And he's got his first chance at the line here. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. Four. That's good from Ball. And so it's Rose bringing it up for New York. To the paint. Here's Olsen. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Ball against Rose. 4-3. Oubre. Rebound by Rose. The Knicks leading by six. And the pass to Olsen. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Kelly Oubre. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. So he gets them both. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Barrett against Hayward. Over Barrett. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from Hayward. And how about Hayward mixing it up inside there? Shows he can score on either side of the three-point line and, and really makes him more difficult to guard. Now here's Oubre. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. Ball against Rose. Richards, no good. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Here's Olsen. That shot off. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's Ball. He's coming off a 22-point game against Brooklyn. I felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you can tell, takes pride in that part of the game. Here's Rose, following the basket by LaMelo Ball. Barrett against Hayward, and Barrett gets it to go. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. Oubre dishes the ball, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Charlotte making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Barrett. Up and in on the layup. And now it's an eight-point New York lead. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Ball with it. He's got ten. Just five to shoot. 4-3, Oubre. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists now tonight. That one doesn't go. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Knicks lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joined by Coach Thibodeau. Coach, any areas to clean up in, in the second half? They're missing some shots, but the thing I don't like is we're giving up the second shot. So the rebounding is something we got to get corrected. Thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Welcome to halftime, everybody. It's been a bit of a challenge so far for the Charlotte Hornets. The defense hasn't impressed me at all. They look like they're going through the motion. Guys, it's about working together and defending with purpose. Agree with you, big fella, on every point. Let's see if they step it up. And moving on to some mid-season analysis. Let's check out the latest power rankings. Look here now, Charlotte. What you see is what you get. And we aren't seeing much from them. Yeah, they've got some nice pieces on their roster, but the lack of firepower to make any real noise, at least this year, it seems. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by Rain Man. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything official. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Rain Man is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett at the three spot. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Randall sinks the 15-footer. Randall's got nine points. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jumper. Well, there's no doubt that R.J. Barrett is a hard-working player and looking for chances to stay and get involved. He does a lot for his team out there on the floor. That's pretty much not how they want to end the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. A two-point game. Robinson left side. Pass to Olsen. The three. Offensive rebound. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Hayward kicks the ball. And he drives in. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. And it's Rain Man missing. Barrett's attitude, Brent, has helped him find early success in this league. And RJ, only the eighth player to record 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 300 assists, all by the tender age of 21. You almost forget how young he is, but he has made an impact here. They yeah, the with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now oh, here's Randall. Nine points in the game so far. Ooh, that was a tricky move there by Randall, putting the defender off balance, and then he got that guy to foul. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Shooting for New York. That free throw, no good. Wow, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. So he can't get either to fall. During his breakout season with the Knicks, Julius Randle, I think has another level to his game. It's about that consistency he's trying to get to. He's an all-NBA caliber player when he gets it going. Here's Barrett. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And that's now six points for R.J. Barrett. Rozier with the ball. Picked up by Barrett. Outside ball. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Knicks leading by three. Pass to Robinson. Brunson against ball. Randall with a screen for Barrett. He kicks to Randall. Shoots over Washington. 
It's rebounded by Charlotte. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And to get open is Robinson, and it's Rain Man missing. Hornets have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. Ogier the pass to Hayward. Passes it to Rogier. And out of bounds is the next game possession. And here's the upcoming schedule for Charlotte. On Sunday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Wednesday, they'll go back home and they'll be hosting the Detroit Pistons. And you know for that matchup with Atlanta, they have that date circled. They love to compete, and they feel they can play very well against that group if they can execute. Now here's Randall, and it's good for two. Randall's got 11 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. And the Hornets call time here. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Plumlee. Nick Daniels comes in for Washington. Oubre is checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Smith's subbed in for Ball. Now here's Rogier. He's got five. Rogier with a screen on Barrett. Oubre, good. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. There's the pass to Barrett. Pass to Randall. Robinson sets a screen for Randall. Kept alive by New York. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out, but it's just not enough with that length. And here is Rogier. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Screened by McDaniel. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. What shot? So impressive with the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting tonight. Catching up on the changes for New York. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Julius Randle. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Here's Rogier. The Knicks making the shot. They're using good court recognition there. Rogier able to make the right play out of that pick and roll. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Knicks. Pass to Rain Man. Offline with his three. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Smith feeling it out a bit. Shot clock at five. Four three. Oubre. It's rebounded by New York. Rain Man's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Rhodes. Now, Toppin, he's got six. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Richards got his fourth rebound in this one. Smith, the pass to Ubre. Screened by McDaniel. A three ball. He doesn't hit that one. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Outside Rose. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And you love to see Rose operating as a playmaker, first and foremost. Oubre outside. Let's the three fly. Toppin pulls it in. Is it getting cold in here? This, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Rose against Smith. 
Here's Rain Man. He's got 18. Pulls up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Smith with it. Oubre outside. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got four assists now tonight. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Rose passes to Hartenstein. Rose against Smith. They get it back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hartenstein's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Washington's checked in for the Hornets. LaMelo Ball comes in for Smith. Knicks trail by three. And for Terry Rozier, all of his efficiency numbers are way up the last couple of years. Here's a guy who was just 37% from the field during the time in Boston. New York calls timeout. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Take a look at the Knicks. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And, of course, the Hornets. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Well, I think for New York, they're proving that all the talk we heard about them in the preseason was warranted. What a role this group's been on here early on. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Yeah, well, having settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Rose passes to Hartenstein. Rose dishes to Barrett. Sweet move, and it's blocked. And he recovers it. And then is the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Hornets leading by four. Now, here's Ball. He's got 17. Elbow shot. Off the left rim and up. And we've watched three so far in this one. Hornets ahead. They're up by four. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. It's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. All out there with Kelly Oubre, and it's Plumley in at the center. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Charlotte in the lead. Oubre kicks to Plumley. Outside, ball. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. Team foul. Knicks substitution, Julius Randall.
And here's Oubre. The pass to Washington. Drills the three-pointer. Washington's got the lead up to five now for Charlotte. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And it's Rose with the ball for the New York Knicks. Randall is screen on Oubre. Rose in the post, covered by Oubre. It's deflected. Well, that's successful physicality on Oubre's part. Not afraid to get right up in the shooter's business. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Randall. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Now Oubre. Lovely with a screen on Rose. Here's Ball. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been Flawless. Rogier, he's checked in for Charlotte. Knicks trail by eight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Randall. Shoots over Washington. And that one off the back of the rim and in. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. Rogier kicks to Plumley. Here's Ball. He's off on that one. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Right side Rose. There's the dish to Robinson. Here's Barrett. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Pass to Brunson. For three. It doesn't go for him. Hornets leading by six. Side ball. Plumley, no luck. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Brunson kicks to Rose. Robinson a screen on Plumley. From deep, Rose. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Plumley sets the pick for ball. The kick out to Rogier. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist in the game. Brunson finds Rose. New York moving the ball around. Passes to Brunson. Now here's Randall. Fended by Hayward. And Randall throws it down. Randall with massive improvement over last year and could beat you in so many ways that he has confidence in now. What a flood. And the Hornets call time here. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I had the chance to find out what Steve Clifford talked about with his players. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if we can keep focus. Okay, David, thanks. It's good on the putback. Washington's got the lead up to nine now for Charlotte. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Outside Robinson. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Ball. And he converts the layup. 22 points for LaMelo Ball. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Here's Brunson. Off target with his three. And here's Rogier. He brings it up to the Charlotte Hornets. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nice. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Now here's Rose. 
Cavaliers. Randall hits good. This time the assist from Rose. Randall's got 19 points. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Here's Rozier. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Rose. And Rozier is not one to be afraid to take things into his own hands. He'll get inside and get physical when he has to, even if it means taking on the contact. Brent, we've seen star players continue to angle their way onto what some would call super teams. Uh, is that good or bad for the league? Well, I think at some point that's going to probably play itself out. I mean, every organization, Kevin, quite frankly, is looking for the best talent they can. So if you could pile up three, four, five, you're going to do it. But at some point financially, it just doesn't make sense. So... I think there's going to be a time where you're going to see that dissipate a little bit as teams put themselves together. Here's Ball. Following the basket by Julius Randle. Plumley with a screen on Brunson. Ball no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that. Oh! oh wow. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam King. Now here's Plumley Dishes it to ball. No good on that one. Brunson with some nice D. The pass to Robinson. To the middle. Wants to get it to Randall and does. New York needs to get off a shot. That one goes in. Uh, the man was wide open there, and Julius Randall understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. Now, here's Rogier. D right on him. Plumwood is just a ball. And Ball gets double team. Three pointer. Hayward. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And the Hornets lead by eight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Second team at the line of the Knicks. And he makes the first. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Plumlee. He doesn't get the second one. Charlotte leading by seven. Washington passes the ball. Charlotte moving it around. Going inside, the kick out to Rogier. From deep. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Olsen. Oh! oh. And he dunks it down. Here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. And the Hornets call time here. So it's the Hornets now. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Poked away. Randall outside. Back to Barrett. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got three assists now in this one. Wow, Barrett not giving up and making a difference. Now, here's Ball. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark to tie it up and it's Randall getting it to go Randall's got 16 here in the second half how about Randall dependable big in a big moment Brunson against Ball Washington with the screen on Brunson here's Ball and just miss after miss right now and so it's Randall bringing it up now for the Knicks 
Wants to get it to Robinson and up. Yeah, throw it anywhere you want. Mitchell Robinson knows what to do. 111 left in the fourth quarter. Ball with it. Brunson picks him up. Ball gets to Hayward. Washington sets the pick for Ball. Here's the teardrop. It counts. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And so now the timeout taken by Tom Thibodeau. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Olsen passes to Brunson. Look at that. And he jams it with authority. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. And the third team. And that steal could not have been more important, guys. They had to make a play right then, right there. Listen to that. <laughs> what is the decibel count in this building? New York calls timeout. Rain Man, Rogier defending. Here's Rain Man. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We'll be back shortly. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Rainman is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the five spot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up can hold his own down on the inside with that physical frame. The first free throw is good. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Big trip to the line. He did not get all of them, but at least they hold the lead now. On the wing, Rogier. Plumley against Robinson. Four on the clock. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Hayward can hit. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Now here's Plumlee. Outside, ball. Stolen by Robinson. Fast break, here they come. Hammers it on to polish off the break. A big men like that running hard in transition should get rewarded, and Robinson able to do that there. Ball up top. Brunson covering. Ball no good. The Knicks leading by six. Here's Randall. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, he goes in there, and you're worried about getting bumped if you're a defender by Julius Randall, not the other way around. So physical. The first one falls. Julius Randall at the line for two. And he can't hit the second. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. He dishes it to ball. Washington with a screen on Brunson. And they get it. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Ball. 
And that is a big time basket. LaMelo entered the league at 19 with such high expectations. This young man ball is used to the spotlight. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Now, here's Washington. Hayward can hit. Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. Robinson against Hayward. Pass to Brunson. Crosses over. Excellent D there from Ball. Hornets trail by seven. Three-pointer. Bonex pull it in. Rain Man's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Robinson. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. Here's Randall. That one off the back iron and out. Hornets have gotten only one of their first five shots to drop here in overtime. Ogier for three. It's rebounded by Barrett. And here are the Knicks now. Brunson with it. Feeds to Barrett. Passes it to Olsen. Six to shoot. New York, no good that time either. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. And they commit an intentional foul. It's another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Here's Brunson. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. And that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free throw line. Charlotte calls timeout. They're down by six. 16 seconds left to play in the first overtime. What do you think, guys? There's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. Washington sets the pick for ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by ball. And so they choose to intentionally foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. And the Hornets call time here. They're trailing by seven. Nine seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. What's your take, guys? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so... They're going to use it. And so it's the Knicks with the win. They escaped with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, congrats on the win tonight. What do you think was the ultimate factor? Just playing defense, our defense started to tell offense, and it worked out for us tonight. We definitely don't want to be in that situation, but we just fall away back into the game. Yeah, you hung in there and were able to come back and overcome the deficit. Thanks, Derek. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Rain Man.